Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Well, we got a little bit late today. I apologize, it's on a call. Well, let's just go over the announcements. The announcements are always starting with this. If you're listening to, it, to this or watching the replay, episode 35 of We Are Heroes is live right now, so make sure you check that out. As well, Connect with us on social media. We have SoundCloud, we have Stitcher, we have iTunes. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel at Dr. Zeno. Subscribe, hit notifications, and you'll get all our latest updates. And that's where we have the whole collection of the We Are Heroes and the 15 Minute Fuels on video. So make sure you watch that. Also go to our Facebook page, Dr. Zeno fan page. Make sure you follow so you'll be all up to date. You'll get all types of cool stuff I have on there. Snapchat as well. We do some funny stuff. Instagram. It's all good stuff. We're doing everything we can for you guys to give you great content. Also, entertainment, but with a good, good purpose to remind you every single day that you are the hero. Uh, we had a great season. Episode 35 was amazing. Uh, again, this is we actually, in that one, we were going, we were in Atlanta at the Live It to Leave It seminar by Dr. Dan Pompa. And I spoke three times that, uh, three times that day. And it was like part two of it. So watch it. You'll love it. And watch it again all the way to the end. There's something very special, uh, a special concept I have uh, with my voice. And I want you to watch that and let me know what you think of it. it just, it's a concept that I went through that I, you know, I don't want to hold, hold my, you know, as great as I could show my kids a great life and, and what's it like to be the hero. But I definitely don't want to be someone who holds them back. So please watch that. You'll ex exactly know what I'm talking about. So always make sure you like and you share. Share not only the 15-minute fuels, but also the episodes as well. So today, um, the, the purpose of today's message, and I'm actually wearing my, it's perfect that I'm wearing it. I'm wearing my, like, Batman-Superman combo shirt, is um, I'm going through, I'm going through, I'm, 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 a, little str I'm a little stressed out. In the fact that, and, and I'm doing this and everybody's going to relate with me here. So I'm feeling the stressed out because right now I believe I'm going through that whole secret identity hero conflict because now that I'm moving forward. So remember in that Marion Williamson thing, it's like people don't fear, their, it's like, you know, people are actually afraid of how powerful they really are or, or how great their success could be. And so now when you start you know, like many of you, you know, hey, listen, I, I want to be doing this. I love to be doing this. And now you're starting to see yourself vision into that. But now you get, you get, you get in the pull, which is the feeling of anxiety or, or nervousness because there's things that got to be done now. Like for, every, like for every new level, there's different problems, right? So you solve one problem and then guess what? It gives you another set of problems, even though the problems could be good problems. So no, after this last weekend, you know, I have the validation from you guys and everybody else, giving myself permission to now go all out as hard as possible. But then when you make that decision, all those fogs get in the way. We talked about the fogs, like, because you have, like, you see your vision, but there's a lot of blurred blind spots or dark spots that, that you need to see clear, but you don't know where they're at. So you have the unknowns, but then there's certain areas like technology and certain things that I, I don't know what to do next. And that's very frustrating. It becomes overwhelming. So then uh, the, the title of today's 15-Minute Fuel is Heroes Don't Do It Alone. You know, to do something bigger. So many of us out there, many of you out there, you've got where you are right now. Like you're working, you know, somewhat alone, right? You go to your job, right? You're doing it, right? Or, you know, I go to the work. I'm adjusting. But I know I, I have my team, my wonderful team around me. But you get used to that. But now when you go to another level or another journey, even if it's a lateral shift, now there's new things that open up, new things that have to be done that you're not comfortable in anymore. That's the whole thing. You're not comfortable in it. And that means you got to have, you got to hire a new team, right? A new team of people who do copywriting. I just got off the phone with someone who does copywriting. That's their full-time job. Another person who helps you get on speaking stages. Another person where they just do masterminds. So you're like, holy cow, like there's this whole new world. So whatever next adventure you guys do or you start to follow your, something that you're prideful in your gifts, you literally realize I'm entering into an entirely new world. If you're a musician, you start playing, then you realize there's this entirely new world and you feel, um, uh, you feel uh, I don't want to say empty, you don't feel empty, you just feel like you're starting from scratch. <laughs> and that's not a good feeling, but it has to start somewhere. 
And then you have that three member. One of our episodes was the toughest thing in life is to make a decision, right? So now you're starting from scratch. So to move forward, you know that you need a team to do it. So you're wondering, is this the right person? Is this the right person? Is this the right person? And we usually base our decisions from past experiences, right? When you hired that person or you got in that relationship, but it was the wrong person. So you don't want to, you want to hold the next person accountable by the decision that someone else made that went wrong. So you, you got to kind of keep an open mind, embrace the unknowns and really think, is this the right decision moving forward with this person? So heroes need a team. You know, Justice, my son Justice has his, his show. It's called the Justice League. And that's what it is. You know, you look at the Justice League, it has all the superheroes that combine together and they do great things. And I believe 15 Minute Fuel, that's what we are. We're just a, we're a group of superheroes together on a mission, but we have our unique gifts and talents. We have our unique things that bring it to the table, but when you bring us all together, it becomes something super powerful. Just imagine all of us in full hero mode, uniting together what we could do with the world. You know, I believe all of us on this line, we could do some amazing things in this entire country, just us that are watching this right now. So what I mean is heroes don't do alone, then you, you start to find people in your life that help you with those areas of weakness. So remember, a hero has pride and ego, but they also have humility. Remember, the hero is self-aware of their weaknesses. So this is a part, I guess, I guess what you're seeing right now, you've seen the pride of the hero in me, you've seen the ego of the hero in me, but now I'm showing you the weakness that I'm self-aware. I'm self-aware of my weaknesses. I know the areas to move forward that I'm weak in, and I, I, I don't have enough time to learn that or, or learn something that I don't really get excited about. So now we have to seek out other heroes. And what I mean other heroes are other people in those areas, those dark spots, those blind spots, those fog spots that love it, they excel in it, right? So this is where we have to invest in them to then clear the help, help us clear the pathway to move forward to start doing big things. So in your life, you know, whatever that dream and that gift is and talent you have, remember you embrace the hero mindset, you remember your unique gifts and talents, and you know what they are. Remember, how do we know? What would you do for, if I give you $50 million, what would you do for free? Or what are you working so hard for? To, what are you working for money so hard for that you, you're doing it so someday you will dot, dot, dot. So whatever that will, I'm going to work hard so I don't have to, you know, I could do this, right? So whatever that is, we want you to start doing that now. Writing, speaking, you know, music, uh, you know, audio, video, whatever that is. And then the third thing is now you got to find your vehicle of influence. So this is now where I'm at. What's the vehicle of influence? I know it's video. I know it's speaking, but that's me. That's my vehicles, video and speaking. But there's other vehicles that have to get your message out. Like, here's the thing. How do you now monetize? We talked about how do you monetize that? So monetizing might be an internet program or to do, or actually you create a business of it or you write a book or you make an album, a music album. So all the things that make things marketable and things that you need to do, you know, that might be something that's not your thing, right? So how can you stay and do your, serve and do your purpose and have other people of the team that you work with, partner with or hire, they can then execute that so you could actually move in from doing a job to doing what you love to do to make it a living. You know, traditional self-improvement and, you know, personal development is about what? You know, oh, you find something that you're fulfilled in, but the problem is we, we find a job that pays the bills, hopefully we'll get fulfilled by getting things or checking off things, but that really doesn't work that way. You know, what we got to do is let's find out, what, let's remember our gifts and talents, embrace who we really are, be proud of the gifts we've been given, start doing those things now, even though we're not paid for it, and then... Hire the team around you that'll say, listen, we can start marketing these things. It's okay to start getting paid because you're giving great exchange, but you could still be who you have to be. So I have to find a team now that allows me to be me and just be pure at 100%. And then that's the copywriter. That's the email person. That's the internet person. That's the person who gets you on stages. That's the person or the mastermind group you have to be with. So, so it becomes this whole team. And then you get nervous because you're like, who is that team? Who's the other heroes that we have to join with to move forward? So you see, so, so you're looking at the weaknesses. So this is the important part is become truly self-aware of your weaknesses and be okay with it. In fact, love your weaknesses. Because in the weakness comes the humility and in the weakness comes the courage. And then you find other superheroes and other people who are, who are excellent and that's their purpose. Their purpose is actually the things that you feel that you may be weak in and you join together. 
And together, that's how you go, you'll go further than you ever thought before. And that's how you'll get your message and your voice out to the world. Remember, the world doesn't want a counterfeit version of somebody else. The world wants you exactly the way you are. But sometimes we need help by other heroes in other areas to be able to get our message out to the world. Otherwise, if we rely on ourselves to do it, that message may die with you. And you don't want that to happen. So this is where we need other heroes. I used to call thought leaders, right? Thought leaders in our life. Thought leaders could come from actual people, human beings that are flesh, that do their job. So that's what I'm seeking now. But you can find these people in books, in audios. This is something where you're at. You could learn from those mentors. I actually need people to actually execute as well for me. But you could find these mentors that are living or dead in books, audios, um, podcasts. You could go on YouTube. And they're just getting people. So those areas of your life that you get nervous about, that you just don't know, you could seek those people out in flesh, like I'm doing right now. You could get books on them if you want to self-educate there, podcasts, YouTube, other vehicles. But it depends how fast you want to get there, right? So I want it, I want it to be extremely fast. And I've been blessed with the resources to do so. And if you're sitting there, if you say, well, I don't have the resources, then you have something called time. And this is where you put the time. So if you don't have the finances to do it, you have the time to do it. And so that's why you invest your time in, okay, I'm uh, like for you, you might be saying, well, how do I build a website? Boom, go on YouTube and put the time in learning how to do that. And then here, boom, you learn how to do that. So you slowly, now putting the time in might take longer, but if you don't have, the, all money does is quicken up the process, but it could also, it could jam it up because you might hire the wrong person. So you know, don't let anybody take responsibility of your success. So that's why if you have the time, put the time in by reading, researching, and just checking off. Here's my weakness. I study that. Good. It's not a weakness anymore. I study that. It's not a weakness anymore. Or if you do have the resources, go forward with it. And if you think you don't have the resources, I'm going to give you a, uh, a perspective my wife gave me that was really um, freeing, okay? And I think it'll be really freeing for you guys. Uh, most of you that are watching this, you went to school, right? You went to school. Some of you went to college. I know some of you got a mortgage on your house and some of you even got a loan for your car, right? Some of you got a mortgage for your business. So all, all I'm saying is this, whether it be your house, your car, your education, or your business, those four things, you went and you asked for money and a bank or something or credit card gave you money so you could do that, right? Because you needed money for the car. You needed money to get the house, right? You needed money to start your business or you needed the student loans to get the education. Now watch me here. But when it comes to your gift, the something that you were literally put on this planet to do, the signpost of your life that you, you were the whole entire life. So I spoke. That was in me. You know, always wanted to be the hero. It was there. So when you look back in your life, the signpost, the things that you sit and dream about, I can't wait to someday do this. And you know, the reason why you're working so hard is so you could get to that. So that gift, that dream that's in your heart that's been put there, unique gifts and talents, why don't you take the same approach to that? It's more important than a business, right? Your, your personal gifts and talents. It's more important than your car. It's more important than your education. And it's more important than uh, car, house, education, and business. It's more important than those four things, right? So why don't you see this? Watch this. If you took and you got and you borrowed money, let's say, I know this is totally anti-Dave Ramsey, but I'm, that's why I'm different. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want you to live on rice and beans and blow your means. I want you to be the hero. But if we borrowed for school, borrowed for house, borrowed for car, borrowed to build a business, why wouldn't we, if we had to, borrow, if need be, or collect funds and pay someone back to invest in ourselves and our gifts and talents? So let's say you're in my situation, right? Let's say you have a message. You want to, and you have the desire to speak and get in the room, get in front of people. But you're like, I don't have the finances to hire a speaking coach. I don't have the finances to, to go to a mastermind to connect with people that will get me on stages or to build this website or online to get the message out to the world. So you have all these obstacles in the way and you say, I don't have the finances to do it. But here, you borrowed for the car, the house, the business, and the student loans. But what if you borrowed, watch this, and invested to hire that team of superheroes to get your message out and to get your, your message not only out, providing value to monetize it to where you could go from here to here. You could actually start a new business, but it's not a business where you're just trying to make a living. You are actually creating a life. 
Because unlike school, you know, just think hundreds of thousands of dollars went into my chiropractic school and my education, and not one dollar of that returned to me. You know, and what I'm saying is like, I gave it to the school, and the school never gave me, they gave me an education, but they never gave me a return of profits. But if I hired someone who was a speaking coach, and they perfected my skill even better, and I was able to go and deliver my message more, I'm fulfilling my purpose at a higher level. If I was to hire someone who built a nice website really well to help collect traffic and maybe monetize things, so you see, I'm, I'm getting something, I'm even getting uh, you know income back from that, right? So you see, so why do you look at sometimes your skill and your purpose as a business, right? As an education, all these things where, imagine all the things, if you were to take that and invest it in yourself, and in the people that are superheroes that, that do the things that you are scared about doing, but they'll help you do it for you, and then it can move you, and it, what it does is it keeps momentum going. Because what happens, you try it on your own, you hit a fence, and you block, and you, know, you can't do it. But if you have heroes lift you up over the fence, then you have the confidence, the self-esteem, the drive to keep on moving forward. And every success story, you see that. These, these people go to the brink of losing it all, and then they become, they walked into their success because they didn't do it alone. There's no success story that was done alone. They had people to do it. And I know it's scary to, imagine a borrowing money to invest in you. It's logically, it's the smartest thing to do, right? Think about that. But emotionally, this is the secret identity. Emotionally, you won't do it or some people don't do it because they feel, well, what if I invest in myself and I fail? And I failed on myself and the people around me. That's the bullshit of the secret identity. That's what we need to address. See, that's why nothing can happen without the hero mindset. Until you say, I am destined for this, and still you embrace that hero mindset, it'll never happen. And then you could give yourself permission to do so. Imagine giving yourself permission to say, you know what? Even if I have to borrow or ask for money to get my purpose out, to hire the people, to get my message out to the world. See, I spoke to a copywriter just now, and because my message is very personal, I get right to the edge of the cliff, but my message isn't certainly clarified the way it needs to be because, I, because at the edge of that cliff, my emotions get involved, my fears and insecurities. So I don't allow myself to really nail the hammer, nail, hammer the nail on the head, so to speak. So that's why I need somebody to help me say, okay, you're right there. And they, and they get me to clarity. And so whatever, that's, whatever I have to pay that person, it's worth it because then I have a clear message that I could get out to the people. And then we could get even farther, get the message out. You see, so this is where, even if you had to borrow, because we, but here's the thing, we borrow every day, right? People borrow for the house, they borrow for the car, they borrow for the business, and they borrow for their education. But when it comes to something that will actually give you true happiness and fulfillment, which is doing your gift and talent and being free and not having to an answer to anybody, but to do what you were called to do on this planet, logically, it makes 100% sense to do it, even if you had to borrow. But deep down emotionally, that secret identity is making you feel unworthy to do it. And the only other times we'll borrow, no matter what it takes, sell your car, sell your house, sell all that, is when I see, is when someone, someone's health is gone. When that mother or father, husband or spouse, you know, spouse or wife gets cancer, gets a massive heart disease, or their child gets a terminal disease, that's when they sell the house, they sell the car, they go on... Uh, What's that? Uh, what's that thing when you raise money? There's a site where you could raise money, literally. You know, uh, I forgot the name of it. But how come at that moment they become resourceful? Because it finally hits home to a point where there's no more option. So we don't want to get to an area of terrorism or an area of crisis to say, this is when I'll do what it takes, but it's too late. But imagine if you could do that now because we've borrowed for things in our life before and they turned out great. Just think, if you borrowed for your house, what do you have? A beautiful house. You borrowed for a car, you're able to drive. For, the, for those of us who borrowed for education, we have an education. So see, borrowing turned out fine, right? You, you're not dead. Imagine if you borrowed for your future and for your purpose and for your gifts and your talents, and if you even borrowed to bring the thought leaders that you truly need in your life to mastermind, to lift you up over the fence, over the hurdles, and bring you to the level of happiness, peace, joy, and impact you can have in the world. Think about that today. All right, guys, thank you so much for this 15-minute fuel. Again, the, you know, episode 35 is there. You'll probably see the link coming up. Please make sure you watch it. Make sure you watch that whole uh, kind of my uh, kind of a, a, a concept I have for my boys 
Watch that. Let me know what you think of it. Please share this. Also share the, uh, 30, uh, the, the episode 35. Thank you so much for getting your swag as well. Make sure you go to our shop and get a cool shirt. And thanks, guys. You guys have been buying in bundles. We really appreciate that. And thank you once again for being there for me, being an audience and a friend uh, for when I go through my stuff. So right now I'm going through the I'm self-aware of my weaknesses, and you're doing it through me. We're, we're doing it together. But hopefully, you know, through the experience, I'll be able to leave the blueprint so you too could give yourself permission to be the hero. God bless. We'll see you guys soon.